behind their fantastic next captain. Mikel Arteta may have only named Martin Odegaard Arsenal's new captain one year ago but Wayne Rooney believes the Gunners have already signed the Norwegian's successor. Wayne Rooney believes Arsenal have signed a ready-made captain in Declan Rice. The Gunners finally completed the signing of the England and former West Ham midfielder for a British record transfer fee of £105 million a matter of days ago. The 24-year-old swiftly joined up with his new teammates before being whisked away to the United States for the club's preseason tour. Rice, who led West Ham to Europa Conference League triumph last season, has been destined for a big money move for some time after establishing himself as one of the best midfielders in the Premier League, as well as three Lions staple. Manchester City almost hijacked the move at one point before Arsenal acted and secured their marquee signing of the summer. Despite being across the pond, the news hasn't escaped Rooney. The Manchester United legend and DC United coach is managing the MLS All-Star team who face the Gunners in a preseason friendly on Wednesday. Should Rice make his informal debut, Rooney will see the most expensive British player up close. But Rooney has already made his mind up on the former hammer and reckons Arsenal have made a terrific addition to their squad. I think he's a huge signing for Arsenal, Rooney said. He's a fantastic player with a great mentality. Young. Arsenal have got a player at the top of his game and I think he'll bring a great character in the dressing room. He could be captain of Arsenal. He's a player who Arsenal needed and they've certainly got a top player. Rice has been carefully looked after since arriving in the United States, taking part in training by stretching and sticking to the exercise bikes. But Arteta has played down any early injury concerns. I just wanted to manage him, said the Gunners boss. A lot has happened to him in the last five or six days. We have a very hectic schedule. He had a few training sessions and he was really good but prior to that he didn't do much. So we just wanted to manage him. He trained today with us. He was in good form and, yeah, he's fine. And since arriving in Washington DC the Arsenal boss has reveled in the signing, believing Rice is exactly what the team needed. I see him like a lighthouse, Arteta said. He is willing to put the light in others, improve others and make the team better. We discussed a while ago how he could evolve the team and complement the players and take that winning hunger into a team with players who really want to push themselves to a different level. He has an aura. The experience he has in this league is going to bring the team to a different dimension. He has the physical qualities we were missing for a while. The way he talks and presents himself. The ambition he has and his passion for the game is exactly what we needed. Arsenal desperate to move on another struggling player after Saudi interest. Arsenal is actively looking to offload Nicolas Pepe in the current transfer window as the Ivorian winger has fallen significantly out of favour at the club. Pepe was Arsenal's record signing when he joined in 2019, but unfortunately, he has failed to live up to expectations during his time at the Emirates. Mikel Arteta has made efforts to help Pepe improve, but those attempts have not yielded the desired results. Last season, Pepe had a disappointing loan spell at Nice. CBS Sports reports that Arsenal is determined to remove him from their roster and recently received an enquiry from a club in Saudi Arabia. While no concrete interest has emerged yet, Arsenal is hopeful that Pepe will secure a new club before the transfer window closes, as it is evident that he no longer has a place in their team. With Arsenal keen to move him on, the next few weeks will be crucial for Pepe as he seeks a fresh start and a new home that will better suit his abilities and help reignite his career. Igning Pepe is one of the worst use of money we have done in a long time and the attacker deserves to leave the Emirates soon. His poor form at Nice is the reason no one is coming forward to add him to their squad, but we expect him to find a new home before the window closes. If that does not happen, the club should consider terminating his contract by mutual consent.